Hello and welcome to another Doctor's Assistant 1 video and today I'm doing a video on um, the new merchandise and on uh, memorabilia that I got from the Doctor Who experience. It is the 22nd of August of this recording, um, it was the 21st of August, surprisingly enough, yesterday uh, when I went up to um, Cardiff uh, for the day of sorts and all, um, went up to the Doctor Who experience, um, yeah, a lot of fun, um, you know, uh, you know, the, the sort of tour thing, the, the guide thing we went through was pretty fun, um, and that, um, I won't spoil it here, but yeah, it was, it was good, it was, it was fun, it wasn't as corny as you think it might be, um, I mean, it was a little bit corny at parts, but, I mean, it was fun. So, uh, this is uh, the merchandise that I got there, and also a bit of merchandise that I got before the Doctor Who experience. Of course, I will give you the heads up of what was at the, of what I bought at the Doctor Who experience, and what I didn't buy at the Doctor Who experience, but is still relevant to this video, because it's still obviously Doctor Who merchandise. Of course it is, why wouldn't it be? But yeah, uh, without further ado, I got this Doctor Who experience um, little card thing that I really like. Um, that was just a quid, so I thought I'd buy, buy that. I really like the sort of shiny, shiny, um, Seal of Rassilon, uh, Magpie Electrics, um, and that, and then, you know, just really nice ticket, really, sort of thing. Uh, so I thought I'd buy that, so that was nice, uh, to buy. And I have Dutch Hill Experience on it, th that and that or this and the previous thing I just went over obviously exclusive to the Doctor Experience. Uh, Doctor Who Experience I hereby decree, insert name here, is an official companion uh, <laughs> 1963, the present day, signed by the Doctor. And then you've got like girlfriend text, it's a sort of weathered bad sort of feel on that which is really cool. Um, I mean, I, I'll be honest, purely rating the Doctor Who Experience shop, it was a bit, a little bit naff in the sense that I'd have thought there'd have been a lot more, um, Big Finish Audios and a lot more just stuff to buy. Uh, Big Finish Audio wise, there was mainly just, um, uh, what was the, there was mainly just the Gallifrey series, really old back stuff for the Gallifrey series, so sort of series one, two, and maybe some three, or three, two and a bit of one and um, there was some uh, uh, box sets but there were like the cardboard ones the special edition sort of stuff there was um, damaged goods and uh, that fourth doctor one uh, love and war I think it is um, that limited edition like special edition cardboard thing uh, there was the six doctor equivalent one um, there was a few box sets like the H Philip Hinchcliffe box set uh, there was a lot of, I think the main thing that was there that most people were probably buying were t-shirts and posters and seeing as I already have a lot of t-shirts and posters of lots of other, um, sort of merchant, well, of lots of other franchises, I just thought no to that. Action figure wise it was really poor, um, a few 3.75 inch figures, um, a few 5 inch figures but of characters who were just sort of really sort of blink and you miss it type characters in the Doctor Who universe, or not even blink and you'll miss it type characters, but just characters who are not that interesting. There was no Dalek, Dalek action figures. There was no uh, standees or or memory sticks of sorts. I, I definitely thought there'd be like sort of standees of characters and maybe some other stuff. There was there wasn't even like the Seventh Doctor umbrella, which I thought uh, would be there. Maybe there was like the Seventh Doctor handkerchief type thing and the Fourth Doctor scarf, but they were really expensive. And classic series wise, well, these are the classic series episodes I did buy. But classic series wise, it was a very poor selection. I, I genuinely go to your local HMV and you'll probably see a better selection of uh, stuff there. I mean, purely well, classic series. I mean, new series stuff. There was a lot of that, and that was all pretty much Blu-ray. Of course, it was, so they could get the most money out of you. But yeah, um. So I've got Mask of Mandragon now, finally, um, it's been on the radar and on my uh, list of Classic Who episodes to get for some time, because now um, that I've got this one, I've completed season 14 of Tom Baker's run, so I've got season 12 and 14, I just need season 13, uh, I just need Android Invasion for that, to complete that. I have already watched this episode though on the Horror Channel, so I'm not in any massive rush to re-watch it or anything, um, 
just another one to add to the collection. I haven't even like actually opened the seal, the seal, the seal eel. Um, next you've got Pete Davidson's Fall to Doomsday, uh, which is the one that I'm looking forward to more, uh, buying more. Um, that and the Mask of Mandragon sent me back seven ninety nine each, which I thought was quite expensive. Um, and then this was just a pound as well as the uh, ticket thing. So yeah, Fall to Doomsday, really like the look of it actually, which is really odd considering it's a Peter Davison story. Um, haven't bought a Peter Davison story in some time, uh, but now that I just flipped through the uh, 50 year essential guide thing, and um, apparently all I need now is uh, Kinder and Time Flight and all I've got his first run season 19, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I bought this before the Doctor Who Experience, the Idavros series, um, and that for 16 quid, so I've got, you know, all four, yeah, all four, um, episodes of the Idavros series, um, and that, so I've got all four of them, uh, I bought them for 16 quid, I sort of, I sort of bought them primarily because I watched a while ago, um, uh, fairly recently, actually, uh, TJ Productions uh, Top 10 uh, Big Finish Audios uh, episodes of sorts, and I thought, well, he's, um, you know, reviewed and, and that and knows so much about Big Finish Audios uh, and the Doctor Who ones that I thought, you know what, uh, it sort of just incentivized me more finally to, you know, sort of go, you know what, I'm a big fan of Genesis as Daleks, I love Davros as a character, you know, you can't get the Davros monster release thing, you know, the, the, that trilogy of, like, Omega, Davros, and the Master. Maybe not in that order, but those three ages ago in the month range, um, and it's highly unlikely that I'd ever be able to get the, the Davros one of that, so next best thing, get this, which is a prequel on Genesis of the Daleks, purely looking at Davros's life um, before uh, Genesis of the Daleks, and each one's about an hour to 75 minutes long and considering there's four of them for 16 quid and I and Dark Eyes like two and three and four uh, 40 quid on the Big Finish website and they're all just an hour long four stories so uh, made sense to get this so now I've got um as well as the John Hurt book sets and uh, the first series of the four Doctor ones I've now got another complete series with Idavros so uh, which is pretty cool uh, Doctor Who, um, Experience Official Compendium Guide, so it goes over the adventure, the girlfriend museum, the official shop, filming location, tour, and events, and that, so, which is pretty cool. I think this set me back seven ninety nine. I want to say, I think, so, but it's really cool. It's got really nice imagery and stuff in there. Like, there was a cool, a really cool picture of all the TARDIS uh, It's a really cool image. Um, I'm going to try and find it. Like, ah, my finger keeps slipping, but that was really cool to get. And then this last thing I didn't get as a Doctor Who experience, surprisingly enough, which you would think I would have. Um, there was quite a few prints and artworky things there. Not a lot, but quite a bit. Uh, quite... A, a fairly substantial amount, um, but this I would I uh, got uh, from my dad from uh, Bridlington. He went to Bridlington and he got, bought me this, so and that's really cool of him to have got me. Um, it's a TARDIS drawn, hand drawn sort of TARDIS. Matt Smith, David Tennant, and then Peter Capaldi in the middle, which is really really cool. So, so yeah. Um, yeah, this is the latest stuff I got from the Doctor Who experience. I, as I say, purely, <coughs> purely the shop. It was a bit, bit naff really. I, there was there was literally two things that I was like, oh, I might get fourth Doctor Tom Baker standee or a um, Doctor Who themed memory stick or something. Do you know what I mean? Like the memory stick more than anything is an actual essential thing that I need for college next year. But um. But yeah, so, which is a bit annoying, um, and yeah, I, I thought one place to get a standee and or Tom, uh, Tom Baker one and or maybe just a Doctor Who one, uh, you would think would be at the Doctor Who experience, 
so yeah, but I mean, the actual like journey type thing, you know, the actual tour thing you have to do, or the adventure type thing you have to do is actually pretty fun and as I say it's not as cheesy as you would think it would be, I mean it was in little bits and pieces here and there was a little bit cheesy but um, <laughs> but I mean it was really fun and you know and then when you've done that there's lots of you know TARDISes, interiors, um, loads of costumes, loads of monsters uh, and that uh, to look at lots of cool stuff from series 10 as well, like the new 10th uh, Planet Sidemen and the monks and, you know, just loads of cool stuff, you know, the uh, stuff from Oxygen, quite a few bits and pieces from Oxygen and Episode and all manner of stuff really. I think it depends on what kind of fan you are. If you really want in to buy a lot of merchandise then you might be a bit, a bit annoyed like I was. Um, you might not like it that much, but if you really like your sort of monsters and costumes of like the the, the allies, the Doctor and the Doctors and and that, and you like the monster designs and want to see those, um, but then again, if you're more into the classic series, then you might be a bit naff, uh, a bit bit disappointed and a bit underwhelmed that there's not that much. But then again, to be fair, um, what do you expect? I mean, it was. 70s, <laughs> 60s and 70s, they probably didn't sort of keep that sort of stuff in, in mint condition, but, um, yeah. But yeah, no, it was it was a really good day, and I would hi highly recommend going before it closes uh, for anyone who's any bit a Doctor Who fan. So, yeah, thanks for watching, comment, rate, and subscribe.